So right into this video, I'll be putting you through the steps you can follow to set up your AliExpress account. Okay. So first you need to go to your Play Store and type in AliExpress and the app is going to be like this. This is how the logo looks like. Okay. And then you install the app. If you are using iPhone, you know how to download your apps. Just follow the process and just type in AliExpress and then you download the app because I'm using Android for this video. Okay. So I'm going to show you the perfect way to download your app, put in your address and the way to shop in AliExpress. Okay. So we are just going to wait for the app to finish downloading. And then we'll go through the process. I've been using AliExpress for like two years now, and I'm at the, I'm downloading this app in another phone, not the main account I'm using for my shopping. But because of this video, I'm downloading this new app. Okay. So after the video, I'm going to show you my shopping charts. Okay from my other phone all right okay after installing we'll have to for it we'll have to wait for it to finish installing okay and then open the app the app is just going to look like this okay you can see everything is written in dollar Okay, so for those of us in Nigeria, I'm going to show you how to turn this to be in Naira because you wouldn't like to start going to um, looking for the price of the, the item you want to buy every time. You're just going to be looking for the exchange rates. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so down here you click on sign in. You can see sign in? Click on sign in. And then click on register. Okay, my location is already showing Nigeria. So if you're not in Nigeria, you can choose your preferred country region. Okay. So I'm in Nigeria. I'm going to choose Nigeria. All right. So I'm going to put in my email address. And then you choose your preferred password. And then click on create accounts. Okay. So to properly set up your account, you click on accounts at the bottom. Right here, you can see accounts. Then click on it. Okay. Then you click on settings. Then you click on settings. Go to profile. Okay. You can choose to change your name. Or you um, add in username. So you just have to add a username if you want. So I'm just going to add um, username. So I'm just setting this account. I'm not going to use this account. So I'm using a random information for this. Okay. This is not necessary. Member center. Account information. Your email address. Your password. This is it. Your member ID. This is where it is. Okay. So here you add your gender, female, and then your date of birth. Um, I'm not adding any of that. And then your shopping address. Okay. So here you're going to change your country. Put your country. It's not changing. You're not changing anything. Just put your country. Your country your country of origin or place you reside because this is the information they are going to ship use to shipping your order.
Okay, so you have to be careful not to make a mistake. Contact them. You have to put your real name, okay? Because most times when you go to post office, they will ask you for your ID. And when your I you mean your name in your in your package is not the same thing on your ID, or you know what that means, okay? You just have to put in your names. The correct name. Your real name, okay? And your phone number. Okay? So, and next. Street address. So I'm in Imo State right now. So I'm going to eat put Imo State Nigeria. And then wait for it to save. I'm going to select your region. Imo States. Okay. And your city, 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 city. Um, going to select new already. So your zip code, your postal zip code. So to get your zip code, I'm going to go to. Um, I'm going to go to my Chrome browser. And you open your Chrome browser. It must take over a zip code and then search for it. So I'm going to look for the nearest zip code, the nearest post office close to me. You can see a lot of them on um, you see a lot of them in Imo States. You can see a lot of them. With your local governments, each local government have their zip code that is the post office so you have to choose the nearest one that is close to you okay so i'm going to choose this one what's this to do, do, do or very or very club so i'm going to choose that one and then you go back and type in your zip code okay So this is very important that you get all the information accurate, okay? Because when you don't get them accurate, your person may be sent to maybe a far distance place where it will not be very easy for you to go and get it. And then after setting in your address and the rest, then you save, click on save, okay? Then you go back. Okay, so here you can see currency. Change the currency to Naira. So you have to change the currency to Naira because I'm in Nigeria. So whichever country you are, you just have to change it to your country currency. Okay, so you just have to change it because it will be easy for you. Not every time you'll be going to check the exchange rate and all that. Okay, I'm going to change the region to Nigeria. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to change the Niger to Nigeria again. I'm sorry for that. Um... And then you choose your states. States. After choosing your country, you choose your state. I'm choosing my state right here. Okay. Your city. 
Oweri. Um, new Oweri. Okay. Okay, and that is it. So you can see everything have changed to Naira. You don't have to start looking for the price or start checking for the the exchange rates. So this is it. So to buy something from AliExpress, you just have to type in whatever thing you want to buy. Let me say I want to buy a ring. Ring for women. When you search for it, you can see a lot of them, a lot of them, okay? And I advise people to make use of the, take advantage of the free shipping to save you a lot of money when you go for the free shipping. But in case you don't find free shipping, you can also shop if you have the money. So something to check out for is the reviews have to check the customer reviews and check if there are people who have shopped from your country you can see there are people four people have shopped this ring from nigeria okay so you can see their reviews are nice they ha it has a good review as described and fits perfectly i love my ring it's so beautiful delivering is fast and faster than expected recommend to anyone who wants it okay so it has a good review that means you can buy it okay if you only want to buy it you can click on buy down here or you can add to charts when you add to charts you can choose your size choose your size and then click on continue and add to charts when you add to charts it has been added to charts when you add an item to charts it will be easy for you to go back to your charts and get not searching for it again when you, so that whenever you want to purchase it you just go to your chart and purchase it but if you just want to buy click on buy now click on continue and then right here you have to when you click on pay now you'll be asked to put in your smart card number so you can only shop in aliexpress with your visa card or mastercard okay they don't ask, accept transfer or any other thing. So that is how to shop on AliExpress. Make sure that your details are very, very correct. So your item won't be shipped to another place. Okay. Right. So if you find this video interesting, please give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below. And click on the bell icon so you won't miss out on any of my videos. Alright. Bye bye guys. So I'm sorry I'm not buying this ring now. So I'm just doing this for the sake of this video.